Growing up on my grandmother's farm in Portugal, I was always very curious about plants and nature. How things worked, how everything on the farm was in balance, weeds, insects, grapes, and garden. That curiosity has served her well. As Canada Research Chair in Bioorganic and Agricultural Chemistry at the University of Saskatchewan, Soledad Pedras has been recognized as a U of S Distinguished Researcher. With funding from the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council and the Canada Research Chairs Program, Pedras and her research team have discovered environmentally friendly plant protection agents called paldoxins. Paldoxins help plants protect themselves from disease-causing fungi. It's a cutting-edge area of research and Pedras and her team are pioneers. We are studying the metabolic processes of plants when they are infected by pathogens, discovering the natural defenses of wild plants and then applying them to cultivated plants. By looking at the crucifer family of plants, which includes canola, rapeseed, mustard and others, Pedris and her group have found a chemical defense that stops fungal enzymes. So after all these years, we have been able to design new chemicals, paldoxins, that are based on the natural chemical defenses of plants that are to protect canola fields like this one from diseases. Unlike conventional pesticides, paldoxins won't affect other living organisms. Instead, they act as a natural defense against disease and lie dormant until the plant is under attack at which time they inhibit fungal enzymes and bolster the plant's defenses. The potential benefits of this discovery excite farmers like John Germs of Saskatoon. Any opportunity that we have to use green products versus the dangerous pesticides and chemicals in my books is a tremendous opportunity for long-term sustainability for my family and my kids' future. In a world where increasing demand for food production and pesticide use is generating a host of health-related issues, getting back to sustainable agriculture and away from chemicals is a crucial first step. You always have to be ahead of the pathogen and predict how the disease will evolve. Now we need to look at many more wild species and see how they can stop the pathogens from attacking. The world is seeking sustainable and environmentally friendly alternatives to chemicals. Pedris and her research team have found just that with paldoxins. We are training and educating students to apply this knowledge to other crops and other diseases for a sustainable agriculture. Without a sustainable agriculture, we cannot have health. With patents pending, Pedris hopes to design and produce more paldoxins that can protect a variety of plants against many different diseases. She believes that with more research, virtually all economically important fungal diseases could be treated with paldoxins. This presents opportunities for great collaborations and our application to many different crops, including cereal crops. And I strongly believe this research is going to be benefiting many people around the world.